is one of the best from Clemson. First team All-American, first team All-ACC, and a finalist for the Nagurski Lombardi Hendricks Award, Shaq Lawson here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Shaq? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. I appreciate you holding while I was, you know, giving my two cents on the passing of, of Prince. So uh, where, where's your mind right now, a week before a life-altering moment for you, Shaq? Uh, my mind is just uh, continuing to work out, uh, get my mind off the draft, uh, just staying focused and... I'm waiting on next Thursday to get here. Do you have an Back idea? Next yeah. Do you, uh, have, do you have an idea of where you might go right now? Uh, sense? No, not really. No, not really. I don't. Which team did you think you had the best interview with? Where you thought, you know what, that was great. I, they like me. I like them. That sounded great. Not that this is where you prefer to go, but that you, you know, we all have job interviews, and we thought that went really well. Do you have one of those, Shaq? Oh, no, sir. I feel like all my interviews went well. Uh, all the teams love my interviews. They love my story, uh, why I was passionate about the game of football and why I love playing it. So what's your story for those who may not know it, Shaq? Go for it. The um, story is that I had to be a responsible man at a young age of 16 because uh, my daddy got killed in a car accident. Uh, so I had brothers and sisters to look after us and, and be responsible for them. And at the age of 16, you were the man at house? Is that what you're essentially saying? Yes, sir. And how did how did that go for you? Oh, it went great for me. First, it was hard, um, but I mean, I knew what I had to do uh, to be with them. I mean, to be be a father figure in their lives. So I I knew what to expect, and I just made every, everything most of it. It was that right around then. Then Dabo Swinney walked into your living room and pitched you on coming to Clemson. Um, at the top, yeah, yes, sir. Right around then, what was that like with uh, with Coach Swinney? It was great. It was great. Coach Swinney was a great man. Um, um, I always had to win a chance to play for Clemson. I knew what I wanted to do. Uh, grew up selling popcorn at Clemson. So, I mean, I had a feeling I wanted to play at, in, the, in the Death Valley. How were you selling popcorn? How how'd that work out for you, Shaq? What what was, did you have a, a certain uh, yell? Did you have a certain style? How, how'd that, what was that like for you? Uh, it was just something I did to help out my friend. Uh, my friend for uh, his daddy basketball team. So that's why I did it. Just to have a chance to come to the games for free. <laughs> you know who did that, by the way, Shaq? In New Orleans at the Superdome? Marshall Falk sold popcorn at the Superdome. <laughs> and look what happened to him. You see what I'm yes, saying? Sir. You see where I'm going with all of this? right now yes sir okay so where do you think you'll be best positioned in the nfl what do you where do you think your your best spot is going to be just rushing putting your fingers in the dirt and getting it down there or what what do you think Shaq? oh i'm comfortable with both uh, i grew up i played linebacker in high school mm -hmm. um, just playing dn in college and i've been i got half of my sex my 12 and a half sex standing up and the other half with my hand in the dirt so I feel comfortable with both. Either or, I feel comfortable I can play either or. Right. And so, um, have you, because I've seen some of the mock drafts, uh, and I saw in one of them, uh, wh wh which one was it? Was it Charles yeah, Davis? Yeah, Charles Davis. Of the NFL Network? Yep. Says you're going to the Buffalo Bills 19th overall. Did you maybe call Seth Ryan and say, uh, what's what what's dad think? Did you do that, Shaq? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, I had classes with Seth Ryan. He was in the same major. Uh, so, I mean, we always was talking. We was always talking. Mm -hmm. And we ain't never really got into detail, but it was like he, he, he said it would be cool if I can play for Buffalo. So with, with talking to teams, which teams had you in for visits, Shaq? Walk me through uh, that. Visits, I had Chicago, um, Chicago, Carolina, mm -hmm. and Dallas. And I worked out for three uh, teams. I worked out for Carolina. Uh, Detroit, and and then San Francisco. Shaq Lawson here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, are you named after Shaquille O'Neal? Oh, yes, sir. Hmm. What's the genesis of that? Um, well, like, that's crazy. My mom, when I was born, mm -hmm. she couldn't really think of a name for me. So two days later, uh, two days until I was born, uh, she said I was a tall, long baby. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a basketball family. My daddy played basketball and my uncle played basketball. Both played college. My uncle played in a professional league and played in some movies. 
So, so that's what I feel like, and that's when they said, I'm going to name him Shaq. He going to be the next Shaq, mm -hmm. the next Diesel. So that's why I had got the name start with it. <laughs> Have you told this to Shaq? Does the actual Shaquille O'Neal know this? Oh, yes, sir. I had a call with him yesterday. You did? How'd that go? Oh, it went great. It was a dream come true to talk to a guy I used to look up to and things like that. Was that the first time you'd ever spoken to him? Yes, sir. Who set that up? Uh, my PR. Your PR did? So you just called him up or he called your cell phone and, and suddenly you guys are chatting? No, nah, we was on the radio. We was on a radio call. Oh, were you on his podcast? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I, don't, I don't can't remember what podcast was on. I just okay. know I was on the radio right, with fantastic. him talking. Well, look, Shaq, do you have, a, you have a, a suit already picked out for next week? You got that all set up? Oh, yes, sir. I actually try it on uh, tomorrow, Friday. Mm -hmm. What's the size? Nice. What size are you? What size are you? Size? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know at this point right now. Mm -hmm. I've been slimming down. Uh, okay. I don't really know. Okay. So they're going to slip that thing on. They're going to slip that thing on, right? And then yes, walk me through what it looks like. What should I expect next Thursday? Oh, it's a three-piece suit. Okay. Uh, gray. It's gray with a, um, a little sky blue in it. Because uh, mm -hmm. of my high school, I was got a little sky blue. Okay. Um, I have a nice bow tie. I like bow tie. nice loafers. Okay. Loafers, bow tie. Do you, do you tie the tie yourself, the bow tie yourself, Shaq? You need help with that? No. Yeah, I need help with that. I can't turn no bow tie. <laughs> me too, though. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I'd go clip on, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed about that. With <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, good for you. And you were in Indy recently, right, for a medical recheck, correct? Yes, sir. How'd that go? Oh, I got cleared by everybody, all the teams. Okay. So you were essentially ready to go. You were ready to go. The diesel, yes. part two, all ready to roll, slim down, looking fine to be drafted in the National Football League. Yes, sir. Okay, Shaq Lawson. Thank you for calling. I appreciate it. You take care of yourself. We'll see you in Chicago. Yes, sir. See you, too. You bet. That's Shaq Lawson at Shaq underscore 90 on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.